Right now, Roenick is fighting the wrong fight, not using his legs at all. Let's take, let's take a look at this, Sam. There's the first left hook. That wobbles him back pretty good. He's hurt now. Standing up. And, and he missed the right hand, but he threw it with everything he could. There's that left hook oh. again. And look at this, One Sam. More. Oh, man. He was out after the second. Take a look at how it ends. Yeah. Williams throws a left, but Martinez beats him with the left. Shorter punch. Yeah, I thought it was a right hook. Shorter, shorter. Tillman now is trying to fight Mike Tyson. He should be doing a lot more movement than he is now. He's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. At the Hail Mary right hand, I know I'm going to land it somewhere here. And Tillman never responded at all to Richard Steele. Listed as having a reach advantage here. We'll see how he uses it. Two with a big left hook, and Ruiz in trouble. Tua comes right at him. Another big bomb, and Ruiz is down. This could almost be over now. Quite a bit right there. That had Tyson written all over it, the way it was thrown and everything by Tua. Now he knows he's done the damage here. He comes right in, and before John Ruiz can recover, Tua is all over him. One more right hand, another one in there, and that one... Punches and he's not countering. Tim. Good, that's, that's great, right. He's Lock hurt. Him. Come on, he is hurt. It really rocked him. Another right hand. He's got him in trouble. He's on the ropes and that's it. Come on, he knocked right through these very loose ropes into the press row. As Hagler. And here, here's those ropes, those loose ropes. That didn't help. We've been watching these ropes during the preliminaries today and have been critical of them. They were not anchored tightly enough. And here's an example of what can happen. There's no support from those ropes. He takes a left and a right, and he's practically out. For Richie. He's also looks so much bigger than he does. Yeah, I mean, he's got a 15-pound weight advantage. That's Every right. time he lands a shot, it's, it's abundantly clear. And Benji Estevez isn't going to bother with a count here as Gamache's eyes were clean of the fight. Right uppercut. And you see why we were worried about Joey Gamache well before he hit the canvas. The uppercut was perfect, George. And not only that, he's getting his whole body into it, like one of those home run hitters throw up. This is probably the tamest round of the entire fight. Not bad, there's Paredes locked again. Paredes locked him. against the ropes, almost helpless. A minute to go. And they're going to stop it. They're going to stop it as Perez drags to the Shot. And he hits him as, he, as he's on his way down. Yeah, he's out on the first shot shot. The gimpsy's out of the mouth. 